What is going on everybody? Carl from The Obsession. Um, we're going to do some reviews here on The Obsession bow, the 2020 lineup bows. Uh, I've got them here in the shop if anybody wants to come and test them so you can feel free to give me a call here at Rush Outdoors if you're in southern Wisconsin and uh, come check out the new 2020 Obsessions. So we're going to start with the short axle to axle bow. And this is from the Evolution series. This is the new Evolution XS. It's got a brace height of 6 inches. Uh, they're at IBO in it at 338 feet per second, 31 and a half inches axle to axle. It's got a draw length, going to vary from 24 and a half to 30 inches. It weighs 4.4 pounds, close to 4.5 pounds. It's got a 90% let off. And it's got the new adjustable 4 track cam system on it. So the new adjustable 4 track actually has a yoke system. Um, it's much like the PSE Evolve Cam is what people are comparing it to. Um, I don't know if I go quite that far, but I think that's what it's based off of. Um, basically, it's got the yoke system to help take limb load off to help control cam lean on the bow. So, you can see this particular one is a camouflage model. Like I said, it's a short axle axle bow. Um, this year we've got uh, one piece limb pockets, which I like a lot better. Uh, than what we had last year. Uh, the two-piece limb pocket me, to me was a somewhat of an issue. Um, it's got a stiffer riser this year. You guys can see that the bridging is different, hence a little more weight added to the bows. Um, you know, it's got a, a different grip setup on it too. The grips changed just a little bit, a little more torque-free. Uh, you can see that they have these rubber inserts instead of running a wooden insert. I'm sure that the aftermarket companies will definitely make uh, grips for them, Rattler grips or North Slope, I'm sure those guys will be producing aftermarkets if you guys want to put aftermarkets in it. Um, it's got an adjustable string stop setup on it this year, so you've got the single bar back here with an adjustable setup so you can control your string stop. That way you can set it where you want to set it. Uh, a lot of people, I like to run them up probably 16th to an 8th off the dampener. A lot of people want to run it right next to the dampener. I guess that's your own choice. Uh, all the bows this year are going to come with a rear stabilizer mount setup. I always run a lower stab, stab setup like this on my hunting bows also. You'll see that. I'll run a forward uh, stab and, and a rear stab. Axion limb dampeners. Um, I like this model a lot. It seems to hold better. Uh, this is actually a really nice setup too. So We're going to run the bows through their uh, paces here. Oh, the other thing. So it's actually got an angled um, cable slide system with a new roller base cable slide setup. And that's also going to help you take some uh, cam lean out of your bow. Uh, as you draw the bow back, it actually comes more towards the center of the uh, draw cycle or the center of the bow. And it helps take the cam lean out of the bow. Um, all of this is obviously going to be adjustable. Um, I think most of this is due to some of the problems they may have had with the... Uh, other two track system that they had. So, but the bow looks good. The finish is really nice. Um, all the bolts and finishes on anodizing are nice. The cams, they got a long stroke. You can see there's a long power stroke on these cams. So, I'm expecting the speeds to be pretty close to what they're advertising. They have lowered the IBOs on the bows this year. Um, we'll see how close they come. All the bows that I've got except one are 70 pounds and they're all set at 29 inches of draw. We're going to shoot a Black Eagle Rampage with 125 grain point on it, also the stainless steel insert in it. Uh, it's a 470 grain arrow that I actually hunt with. So we're going to be testing with that. Uh, I'm going to use my chrono here. I do have some fluorescent lighting so there may be a little bit of a variance. and. Uh, we'll just see what they get. Also, this year, again, they're using America's Best bow strings. Um, the factory bow strings are actually really, really nice. America's Best does a nice job on the strings and cable setups for these bows. So, I'm going to be using a whisker biscuit because these are all the uh, shop bows. So, if people want to come and check them out, they'll be shooting them through a whisker biscuit just because it's easier for me to set them up for people just to test stuff here. Um, comes in a bunch of custom colors. You guys can check out online at obsessionbows.com. Check out all the colors and variations. Just like last year, you can always order your bows custom. Uh, right now, I'm in the 
I'm actually getting bows in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, and uh, which is pretty quick for a custom bow. So I guess we'll uh, let's go on it everybody. Spaces and Carl from the Obsession. Uh, we're gonna check, test the Evolution XS right now for speed. Like I said, I'm shooting a Black Eagle Rampage. Got their stainless steel insert outsert setup on it. I'm running an AAE four vein Max Stealth setup on here. And 125 grains on the nose. This is my hunting arrow setup. So this is going to kind of show you uh, kind of what speeds you're going to be getting. Like I said, 70 pound bow, 29 inch draw, shooting 470 grains. And uh, we're going to run her through the chrono here quick and see what we get for speed. Rolls over nice. Seems to be a really smooth draw. Two seventy five on the first one. So two seventy five, four hundred seventy grain arrow. It's probably not all that bad. We'll have to I see. So we had two seventy five on the first arrow. I am going to. Uh, arrow number two. Like I said, the draw cycle is really smooth all the way over at the very end. You get a little bit of a rollover. Uh, back wall is really solid. So there are no limb stops on this bow like the past obsessions. So it's actually a cable setup, a cable stop with a cam setup. Uh, I kind of like it. I like it a lot actually. That cam seems to be really smooth on the cycle. The axle to axle could explain the uh, Roll over right here at the end, like right there. Two seventy six. Alrighty. So arrow number three. We had two seventy five, two seventy six. Um, the whisker biscuit may be pulling a little bit of speed out of it, also, but I wouldn't expect it to be too much. A couple feet per second. Just like all the obsessions have always been. Uh, no vibration dead in the hand, which is really nice. I do actually like a little more weight. I always like a little more weight on my bows anyway. Uh, actually, when I'm out west hunting, I add quite a bit of weight to my bows. They're usually right around nine and a half pounds. So we'll go with number three. Smooth draw cycle all the way back. Boop, that one little roll at the end. Two seventy four on the third one, so it seems really consistent with the uh, four hundred seventy grain arrow, twenty nine inch draw, seventy pound bow. Um, I'm actually going to check this bow on my scale to make sure that it is seventy pounds, but just because the new draw cycle seems like it's not pulling that much weight, so I will definitely check that and let you guys know here in a second. But I really do like the new cam. I like the adjustability for camling. From the factory, the bow seems to be set up pretty dang square. Looks nice. They did a good job on that. If you guys want to check out the Obsessions, the Evolution series, uh, this is the XS, the short axle axle bow. If you guys want to give me a call here at Rush Outdoors, feel free to do that. Um, I'm going to be testing out the new Evolutions throughout the week, showing you guys all the new bows, so be sure to watch out for those. Like I said, right now 470 grains, that 275 foot per second average with three arrows uh, is pretty darn impressive. Uh, it's a heavy arrow to be throwing out of it, this short axle to axle bow. And uh, we'll see what we get for weight when we pull it back and, and go from there. Okay, so I just checked the weight on the Evolution XS. And it's drawn 71 pounds, bottomed out, 29 inch draw. 470 grain arrow, averaging 275 out of the bow. So I have no idea what the kinetic energy is or anything like that. I haven't done the math on it. But for your average hunting bow, or for a hunting bow, I think that that's actually a pretty good setup for a heavier arrow, what I would consider to be a heavier arrow. Uh, I think a 500 grain arrow is a heavy, heavy hunting arrow. I uh, usually try to stay in that 400 to 430, 440 range. This year, because I was out west, I stepped it up, wanted a little more weight. 
um, going through the air with the wind and stuff that we'd be dealing with, less left and right issues. If you guys want to check out the Evolution XS, give me a call here at Rush Outdoors. You can get hold of me at 608-445-7608. I'm here in southern Wisconsin. I'll talk to you guys later.